Now we're live. <laughs> now we're live. Are we? Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? Mm -hmm. We're live. My phone's on silent. Your dog's in down here. Where'd mine go? Just don't worry about yours. We don't she need was her just up to here. We don't need her. We don't have any microphones on. The, the computer's fine. They can hear oh. us. We didn't have microphones on last time. I thought we did. Mm -mm. Nope. We're good. <clears throat> Well, I just looked in the mirror for the first time since this morning when I first woke up. Yeah. My necklace is on backwards. Yeah. My nose is red. At least your shirt ain't on inside out or backwards. And it says happy camper, which is a total lie. You're not a happy camper? Well, not living in a camper. Oh. <laughs> I'm a happy camper when I'm camping. Okay. But I'm not a happy camper living in a camper. I got you. I see but, what you're saying. But now. I'm I'm not living in a camper anymore. No, we're not living in a camper anymore. So I guess it is right. Yeah. I'm a happy camper. You're a happy camper. Okay. We're all happy campers around here. But my necklace is still on backwards. Tired camper. Tired. I'm a tired camper. What are you tired of? I'm tired of that side garden over there. It's when I'm it's been whooping me. <laughs> Thank the, you, Tracy. The uh, the uh, par uh -uh. parterre, my parterre garden. That's uh, that's French. Y'all didn't know I was bilingual, but I am, sort of. <laughs> I don't both. I don't trust him. I don't believe him. I don't think anything he just came out of his mouth was correct. I'm probably not saying that right. I know you're not. I I, I had. Matter of fact, I told you because Tracy sent me a text from Just Dig It Farm and she's helped us design the potager garden and this parterre garden on the side <laughs> over here. You did and, it again. Uh, <clears throat> she sent me a text and asked me how that garden was going. And I, and I said in the live earlier that I knew that garden had a name to it, but I could not remember what in the world that thing was called. And when she sent me the text, I saw it. And it was me and your mom. We're out, me, you, and your mom on the side over there. And I said, hey, this is what it's called. And I spilt it to y'all. And all three of us said it different. Your mama, your mama said it was Partier because, yeah, because it was French. It was it's partier. French, so it has a, a, but it's a not ring to it. It's not Partier. And I, I listened to how to say it. I Googled it and I said how to say it because I didn't want to be wrong. Well, And I, and I forgot. I forgot. And I, I'm almost positive it's part here. It's P A R T E R R E. Now you're probably, probably spelling it in. No, I, I know how to spell it. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'm a wordsmith. I believe yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it. That's why you call out to me all the time. I say, Brooke, how do you spell Potage? I know I spell Potage. I, I, listen. I know my French gardens. I, I can spell potage and parterre. I, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we've been working on the side garden, we have. which is a French formal garden. French formal garden. That's right. And a lot of people were interested to know mm -hmm. how, what do rocks and grass have to do with a potage garden, which a potage garden is a kitchen garden. The potage garden, well, it is a kitchen garden. But it has the elements of beauty as well. So a potage garden also has flowers and that kind of thing. But, so it kind of mixed all in together. But this is the entrance. But I, I think going into the potage garden. And I think we did a poor job explaining that initially. Yeah, we probably did. I, th I think we did. We probably did. <laughs> I think both of us did <laughs> because there were so many people that said that that's not a potage garden. A potage garden has vegetables in yeah. it and rocks and grass you cannot eat either one of them well you I mean if you got hungry enough no <laughs> i'm not eating rocks no getting our chickens eat rocks they do yeah. but it's not for look at their parterre i know i'm right thank you prayer squad see they know what's up i know i know my i know my um i'm yeah. a wordsmith so so we started on the side garden first which is the parterre garden. Yeah. And Jason has been whipped. Or whooped, whichever one you want to say. 
Arlo said, what are you making that noise for? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, when you're thinking about it, you're thinking, you're like, gravel in three squares? And well, of course, we got that the road person swag. said you're right, too. They know what's up. Bunny. Bunny, Bunny said it's right. Thanks, Bunny. And you got the, uh, we got the road swag. Yeah. That wasn't that hard. No. It really wasn't. That, that, to me, that should have been the hardest thing about Oh, old goodness. Girls. Hey, baby. Here comes crazy. Oh, <laughs> not crazy. If every one of y'all don't smile when you look at this sweetness right here, then something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. But anyways, the road swag, that should have been the easiest part. I mean, that's the hardest. The hardest part. Yeah. Three squares and gravel, that should have been easy. But even though that I am a wordsmith <laughs> and I'm, I'm great with language and English and French and, and, and spelling and grammar, and I'm really great at that kind of stuff. Geometry is not my... Not my forte. Well, you were supposed to tell us about how hard the row swag was supposed to be. The row swag supposed to have been hard. It was not. It was not that hard. The hardest part about the row swag was yeah. those six by six by twelve posts. Yeah. Weighed at least two hundred pounds. <laughs> at least. <laughs> at least two hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. At least. And then pounds. when we got them out of the truck, they must have weighed three hundred pounds. Yeah, that should have been the hard part. It wasn't that hard. That that part I can handle. You know, we gotten really good at digging holes with the, with the <laughs> auger and sitting post here lately. We gotten pretty good at that. We hadn't gotten good at doing anything. I think we got pretty good at that. Our tractor has yeah. gotten really good at digging holes. But you still gotta have somebody say, "Come on back, come on back." Whoa, whoa, come on, whoa, right there. Let it down. No, nope, no, nope. let it back up. Let, let it, it back, back up. up. Yeah. Go up. That's what and you, you go. Do. You want me to go? You want the thing to go up or you want the whole tractor to go up? Mm. So now we got some, we got our own language. lingo. Yeah, lingo is go forward. Yes. I say go forward. And then the up means lift the, the um, implement up, the auger up. Yeah. So we got good at that. But the, the, so I laid this thing out and I was like, it's going to be easy. So I started laying this parterre garden out and I realized. My squares and rectangles wasn't looking right at all. I was way off on everything. It was crazy. And so it's like, this is like week three. I well, was <laughs> working on this thing. Everything had to be symmetrical. It's got to be symmetrical because we're dealing with straight lines because it's a formal, it's not a curve. It's supposed to be straight. Gidget left, and I'm just trying to figure out where oh. she went. <laughs> it's supposed to be straight. It's supposed to be. Yeah. It is straight. It looks pretty good. Now it does. It looks great. It looks. It, it looks really good. does. We're I'm not gonna, done yet, but it, right now it's looking good. We can't show it to you yet. Tomorrow's mm -hmm. video is not going to be about that because we're still not finished. I don't know when we're going to be finished with it, but we'll have a video on the Parterre Garden. One day. One day. We may have like a live tour on it or something. That'd be a good idea. We'll figure something out. Because we can't figure out how. She said, I need Lester to help me. What's it? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. That's how Lester measures. Yes. That's what I don't need. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> well, I had some questions about part of it that we were working on earlier today. Yeah. And I didn't think it looked quite right from the outside. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, I was just preparing dinner. Mm-hmm. When it was daylight, it's mm -hmm. dark now. But I looked out the window, and it looks fabulous. Looks good. And I don't think it's no... We went to... Um, somebody said to get you, went to go get your kitchen towel. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we got them things hidden. We do. We don't want that crazy thing. I will say this before I, before I continue on about our potato garden. You're going to forget. I won't forget. I got a mind like an elephant. I will say this. I don't forget what I was fixing to say. Oh, I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was not just true too <laughs> everybody's talking about Gidget in the kitchen towel okay you're gonna forget go you will say this I think people are enjoying now the Facebook people have been enjoying the reels uh huh but I think I've gotten I may I think I may, may have read one negative comment about the YouTube shorts but other than that I think everybody's been enjoying the YouTube shorts now they hadn't seen the Gidget because it's going to come out.
probably tomorrow. It comes out tomorrow for So them. YouTube hadn't seen it, but Facebook has. Facebook has. But other than that, the shorts are the shorts. Everybody's loving the shorts. The YouTube folks are loving the shorts. Like I said, I saw one and it wasn't bad negative. It was just, you know, they didn't like the shorts. But other than that, everybody else seems to be loving the shorts. Well, as long as we satisfy more than 50% of the people, then I think we're good to go. I think we're I think we're about 99%. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think I we're about 99%. You cannot get any better than that. And I tell you, I really enjoy making them. Well, that's great. And I'm trying to do mine different than, I think I'm doing mine a little bit different than everybody else. I think everybody else says, I'm trying to make mine like a little because I got one minute. <laughs> I got one minute. And I think I'm trying to make mine like a one minute movie. Like a one minute, like it's got a beginning, middle, and end, one minute movie. And I enjoy making them like the pumpkin challenge. The pumpkin challenge, boy, those chickens could sit inside that pumpkin and stick they've their whole body out. On it now. Yeah, they've gone to town on it now. They have. But I just, I just want to say, I think people are loving the shorts and the reels. Okay. So. Now, what was it you weren't going to forget? The Pater Garden. <laughs> what you're talking about is, is that we built a little fence in front, right up, right where the house is. Y'all see it when we get through with this thing. We ain't through with it yet. Oh, but um, if we're going to get finished. Yeah, we're going to get through with it. My back's a little out of whack. <clears throat> oh, goodness. <gasps> Let me try to chiropractor. No. Did you know I can do that too? Arlo. You know I'm a chiropractor? No. Okay. I can. I can But I know it. that Jacqueline over at Head Family Farm likes to watch <laughs> shorts on chiropractor. She watches chiropractor shorts. So she might could help me. She and they be. just left here a little while ago. They did. So if they're not too far away, you think I could get her to come back and let me send them a text to turn around. <laughs> Brooke needs an adjustment. Brooke needs an adjustment. Brooke's never been to the chiropractor before in her life. Mm, I got a catch. I've had a catch in my shoulder for a while. But I'm used to it though. I'm like the tin man. I just need some oil every now and then. I don't have any oil. That's what I feel like. But so we decided to put a split rail fence at in the a, entrance. It's the entrance. So we're gonna make a grand entrance into this garden. We're gonna put an arbor and have something growing on it. But we wanted a grand entrance. We wanted it to be separate. From the front yard. Right. So you know you're entering another room. Exactly. So we put the split rail fence up and I Googled how tall a split rail fence is. A three. I wanted a three rail. Uh -huh. A three rail split rail fence. That's hard to say. It is. Four foot is the, is the uh, height. height average. Ten inches in between the things. I think that comes out just perfect. So we put it together. And we put the first rail on just to give us an idea. But we left the poles because we had eight foot poles. We put like two foot in the ground. And so it was like six foot sticking out. So it looked kind of weird. And all I could see was this is not going to work. This is not going to work. It did look really weird. But I couldn't visualize once he cut those posts off what that was going to look like. Yeah. So that's just what you did. Is you went and got the saws off. I did. And you sawed off the poles to where we could see the actual height of the fence. That's right. Well, once it was all up, it looks great. Yeah, it, it looks fine. It doesn't look tall. It doesn't. But mm -hmm. I think we'll let the viewers themselves decide if they like it or not. Okay. If you don't, just say you do. Because <laughs> <laughs> we... Or that's how we roll. That's how we roll. It looks good. I think it looks good. I we think even, it looks good. We even sent... Tracy a text. And Tracy said it looks good. She said it looked good. So, so if Tracy said it looks good, then yeah. we're all in the clear. It is. And it's a little fence, I think, but one section here, the entrance, and another section. So it's, it's not two eight big. foot sections. Yeah, it's it, not like it it's good. a massive fence or anything. But it looks good. It's just a separation. Just a separation. And it's going to be pretty. I think we're going to stain it. I was just fixing to say, yeah. I think that the poles. For the rose swag, yeah, as well as the fence, need to all be stained. I think you're right. That red mahogany, I think Benjamin you're right. Moore, yeah. stain to match the house. To match the house, I and agree. it's just gonna tie it all together. It's gonna tie it all together. It looks like you put a big old wrap <laughs> around it all, and it goes with this house, right? Oh, that's right. I'm loving my house, by the way. I'm loving it too. I like everything about it. I, you yeah. asked me just last night if I there did. was anything, anything that I would do different. Yes. And I must say, I'm completely satisfied. You didn't say anything, did you? I said a pot filler. That was it. A pot. And that was, we originally was going to put and a pot filler I gotta in. I got to tell you something really funny. But go ahead. 
Last night, yeah, Alabama played football. That's right. Don't let me forget. I got to say something. Go ahead. So I don't sit still long enough to watch the football game. And plus that, he's kind of a rowdy fan. I'm not that rowdy. So anyway, I went on about my business with our daughter. I used to be. I ain't that rowdy no more. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. And we want to talk about that orange team they played too. That's what I got to talk about. Okay, so now that you've calmed down enough, you can talk about it. That you didn't see me mad at all last week. I'm not mad. I just heard a lot of noise. I went mad. Out, mad Carl. (laughs) (laughs) She hot. She said, (laughs) "Yeah." Never mind. (laughs) We don't need any backup. Believe me, y'all. He was mad. Okay, so. Go ahead. I don't know what I was saying. You was talking about changing something. Okay, in so the he was watching game. the Alabama football game. Yeah. Well, Jason asked me earlier yesterday if there's anything I would change about the house. And I said, yes, I wish I had added the pot filler. And what a pot filler is, is it comes out, it's a water spigot. It mm-hmm. comes out at, above your stove, your yes. burners, not your oven in the wall, but your stove. And you can put a pot. And it has a long arm that you swing out and you can turn the water on so you don't have to carry a big heavy pot. We talked about it early on in the build. We did. And you know what? And you had a valid point to not having a pot filler because I was like, look, you don't have to worry about filling it up in the sink and bringing it over to the stove. But you said, but you still got to take it back to the sink and empty it. And I thought, yeah. I never I thought about that, but that, that is true. And deep down in my mind, I'm also thinking that we're going to have to find the location yeah. that this pot filler is going right. to go. And it has to be exactly center of where the stove is going to go and the cabinets are going to go or else right, it's not going right. to look right. So you're watching your football game and I'm browsing through social media. Mm-hmm. And I see a post about a barn dominium. Mm-hmm. That does this pot filler look odd because it's not in the center? Jason. Did it look bad? It didn't look good. (laughs) And I thought to myself. That would have been us. Those people have been listening to me. No, this was a legit person. That that would have been us. Posted this. I know that would have been us if we decided to get a pot filler. And you know what would have happened? They would have had to drill a hole in my granite backsplash. Mm -hmm. And put that crooked pothole filler. I'm glad. I'm glad too because it did not look very good. And all I could think of was that's Brooke and Jason's kitchen. <laughs> but it's not because I have to use the <laughs> sink. But I don't complain about it because our pot filler would have been crooked. It, I'm, I'm pretty positive it would have been, been crooked. So I'm glad we don't have one. All right. So I reversed everything I said about the pot filler. I don't regret. Anything that we did or didn't do. I, uh, the only thing, you said pot filler. The only thing that I second guess, and it's just one thing. And I, I don't know if I told you this or not. I hope. I, I don't want to think about it over and over. So if it's something I haven't thought about. The only thing that I would be is that I've, I've second guessed myself of, of putting the chandelier in the den and not putting one of those. Big a, fan. <laughs> The company big has got fan. an ugly word in it, and we're a family channel, so we're not going to say it, but it's big fan. And one of those big fans, mm-hmm. big, and it's a big industrial type fan. No, because I'm not a fan girl. You're not, but I am. But, but that's what I said. That's the only thing, the only thing that I could think of. But but I don't regret it because no. I just knew it was going to be something that I'm going to think about and say, we do need to do that. No, that's the only thing would have been a fan. And I can do that myself anytime I want to. No, want you to. can't. Because I don't really <laughs> want a fan. You see, I have on long sleeves, okay? As you I know. Two fans in here. But this is not my arena. <laughs> no, it's this not. is yours. Uh-uh. Um, I, I, I'm a cold girl. I yeah. don't like air blowing on me you don't i like the sunshine i like well you see my sunglasses rings i mean it's i like the sun (laughs) and i don't like the cold speaking of the cold okay so i was thinking earlier we don't plan out anything about our lives of course (laughs) and and i'm always sitting here like 
what did we video last week? What did we video? So I went and looked so I would know what videos we did last week because yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we did the farm chores. Yeah. We did the aviary. Yeah. And then we did the, um, oh my goodness. It was just yesterday. Tiny house. The tiny house. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't yesterday. It was two days ago. Here I am pulling my sleeves up. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought we would start with the farm tour video and just kind of talk about what happened. Well, before you do that, I got in trouble last week. Oh, about the game? About the game is because I didn't say anything about the game. And it... it, it, it and I do. I'm I'm any fan. Of course, I get mad during the game. But after the game's over with, I'm done. I am. I don't pout around and nothing around. You can smile if you want, but I don't. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying a word. I'm the, just saying that uh, I'm just sitting here. You After the game's over with, it's after over. After the game's over with, it's over. It is. It's For over. me, it's over. I'm, it's over. I, I don't dwell on no, it. No, you don't. And the next day, I'm perfectly the fine. The next day, you're fine. But yeah. during the game. During the game's a different story. During the game, I get animated. Just, you know, I, 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 when somebody runs a touchdown, I'm running with them. We have a family that lives down the road. Their last name's Moore. And during this game, I'm out there with the goats and stuff. And I know play by play what's going on. <laughs> I'm not even near the TV, but I know exactly what's going on. And that Moore family down there, they knew exactly what was going on. That's funny. They may not have had their TV on either. Yeah. But they knew when Alabama scored a touchdown. Yeah. And they knew when Alabama had something wrong with them. You're probably right. I ain't no probably to it. Yeah, you're probably right. You and and if you need your daughter to come and talk to you. They Alabama fans, though, so they knew. They How probably, do you know I that? just know. I know Eugene's Alabama fan. <laughs> Well, but anyways, what I did want to say is that uh, congratulations to Tennessee Volunteers. That's right. And I should have said last week, but the game was once it's over, it's over. I'm done. I don't yes, even think I know about it. Yes, and he's 100% true. He yeah. enjoys the game. I do. But I don't enjoy watching a game with an animated fan. Yeah. So I stay in my little cubby hole. <laughs> And, and I know every time that Alabama does something good, I don't have to be there. You don't have to be there. I'm just on this 40 acres, right. and that's all that needs to be. That's, that's right. the only place I need to be is within this and 40 I, acres. You're right. Yes, I know. You're right. So, congratulations to the Big Orange. Yeah, absolutely. Good for good for them. Um, I, I, I don't have any grudges. I don't nothing like that if, matter of fact i mean i'm a i'm a i'm an alabama fan because my family was an alabama fan you're either kind of brought up that way or you're brought up an auburn fan if you live yeah, in alabama that's, that's i kind of feel that it's way it's kind somewhat. of either or yeah. you know it's the way your family mm -hmm. who your family rooted for is who you root for right but about 25 years ago i did find this sweatshirt on sale for little or nothing and you've worn that sweatshirt for 25 years but up I, until recently i regret that i had to do away with it it was wow it had big gaping holes in it <laughs> and what did it say it said t-e-n-n-e-s-s-e-e -E -S -S -E -E. i'm glad you didn't ask me to spell it <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were the spelling wizard it's a word smith oh. i didn't say nothing about a spelling wizard <laughs> I, I can't win no spelling bee i thought that's what you no, were saying i'm a word smith you know, I was thinking when you said that you were a wordsmith, I was like, what about when you asked me to spell persimmon yesterday? Or what about when you asked me to spell no, water the day before? I said wordsmiths more in depth. Okay. They, they look at words differently. They, they got meaning to them and stuff. Not We don't care how they spell. But obviously me getting rid of my sweatshirt helped Tennessee. I probably did. We because, need to go find it. Cause I we think, don't need them to get on no street now. No. To go. <laughs> I mean, like, it's been how many years since Tennessee oh, beat Alabama? How many years? It's been a while. You know, I didn't even know it had been that long. I'm going to be honest with you. I had no idea. It's that sweatshirt. It probably ain't been, been 25 years, though. No, I was 16. 
Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I know I've had that sweatshirt longer than 16 years. 16, yep. Been but a while. Regardless, me getting rid 15. of it. 15. Oh, 15 years. I'm sorry. 15, 15 years. years. That's, I thought it was 16. 15. That's, that's <laughs> been a minute. That's been a long time. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. And they deserve the win. According to your yelling, they deserve the win. Oh, they play a good game. They so, play a good game. Um, well, we're going to skip over that chore video because you know all about the chores, right? Yeah, they do all know about the chores. Um, so the next, you know, I enjoyed that video. And I think a lot of people did like that video because I don't think we've ever made a video that showed us. And y'all, yeah. I got that thing down to 44 minutes, <laughs> and that was hard because it was a lot of footage in was that video. Was it 44 video. minutes? I mean, the video was 44 minutes long. Wow. That's one of the longest videos besides live that I think we've done. I've well, made I'm ever a, done. You know, I don't know it was long. You know what that means? What's that? That's how hard it is to take care of a little farmstead. It takes a long time, and I'm and I, I, I'm glad I wanted people to see that, and and I think most people do, but I think a lot of people maybe not knew it took us that long. And, you know, you cut it down. Yeah, I cut it down. You cut it down. So, yeah. And, that's and the, I didn't show that we go back in the evening time. Yeah. And do. Tidy you know, everything top up. Top the waters off. Put up chickens need to be put up. Um, it's uh, no cakewalk, that's for sure. It's no. hard. I mean, it, it's routine for us, so we don't see it as being anything hard. Mm -hmm. But it is. It's. Time consuming and it has to be done. It has to be done. It has to be done. I don't care how you feel. It has to be done. At least that's how we are. I I don't I don't know if you could say this for yourself, but there is not a morning that I open my eyes and say, Oh gracious, I don't want to go take care of the chicken this morning, or I don't want to go feed the goats. Mm -hmm. That's just not how I feel about I don't like it. Every, I don't think that's ever crossed my mind. It hadn't mine either. But I was going to yeah. say, when it becomes a chore, yeah, is when it's bad. Yeah, yeah, that's when because it's Because even though we call it chores, it's really that's not. what people yeah. know, yep. you know, what we're referring to. But it's not a chore to me. I actually live for it. I enjoy mm -hmm. it. Even going out and changing the sheets in the Rhode Island Reds bed every morning. <laughs> Them things are getting big. They sure are. I need to show how big they've gotten. I may do that in the next video. Um not tomorrow's video already got plans for it. Plans for it, but maybe the next one. Or or we could do the party A. <laughs> the part, part, you know, maybe the party the, garden. We're gonna call it the party garden. The party garden. Um maybe but, it look like a mullet. The party in the front and business it, in the front and party in the back. Yeah. Arlo, so that's what he's got going on. But um, yeah, so that skips over that chore video. The next one was the cold Arctic blast that came through. Mm -hmm. And that ain't no lie. Yeah, it, did. it was pretty cold. It was cold. Yeah. It was pretty cold. I'm telling you, it bit me. And I thought to myself, it is October and we live in Alabama and it is not supposed to be this cold. I think it was a record. I think that was a record low. It really was. If it wasn't, it should have been. Because that, I mean, we had. Gloves, we had hats, we had we had all our winter attire. I had wool socks. But come eleven o'clock, we were shedding it though. Because yeah. the sun come out, it got pretty warm. It did, but those overnight temperatures were bitter. And we had to do something to protect those Victorian crown pigeons. Yeah, we did, and that's working out well. Um, I had bought the plastic a couple of weeks before the temperatures were even predicted to drop. Right. Um it was on one of my trips to Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever I was, and I saw the plastic, and I thought, at some point, we've got to winterize that aviary, and it snuck up on us, but we got it done, and what we ended up doing was putting the, um, I don't know, what do you call it, oil field heater? I, I think that's what it's called. It comes with this. It looks like an old radiator heater. It, They're um, real popular now. Um, we bought it at, at Home Depot yeah. when we lived in the camper That's right. because the camper just could not keep up when it got to the freezing mm -hmm. temperatures. 
So we bought that to supplement our heat and it did a fantastic job in the camper. We had them stored away down in the barn. And so I told Jason that night after we plugged the heat lights in, plug those heat lights in and it didn't immediately take the chill out of the air, which that's not what they're meant to do. It's not, it's to be warm right up under it. So Jason, so lovely husband he is. I was in the house shivering, freezing and <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out how I was going to warm myself up. And he volunteered to go down to the barn in the dark, yeah, in the cold temperatures and get that heater. And you plugged it up and immediately saw a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it worked well. It I, did. Matter of fact, I plugged it in, I let it get warm, and I went back out there and checked it again. And it felt good in there. Come on, buddy. You can't make it did. Up, it, it did a fantastic job. Now, we don't live somewhere Ooh. where we have to warm our chickens. We do keep our ceramas with a, a heat plate is what it's called. It can be used as a brooder or a heater. And I honestly was skeptical about the warmth that that heat pad or heat yeah. plate would put out. That's right. It's doing well though. It is. Mm -hmm. The ceramas are in a enclosed area. That's not very much space, but it's ample for them. And so we put that plate in there and turned it up on its side. So it was like a, I don't know, just it's a heater. Straight up and down mm -hmm. and set it on heater, not brooder. And it stayed toasty in there. It did. Of course, they're, you know, when they sleep, they're all up next to each other like this anyway. But um, they they probably didn't need the heater with the door shut, but we wanted to make sure that they were warm enough. So, And they're doing fine, too. And it gets, you know, cold to us is probably like nothing to... Yeah. And I wanted to say that, too, is, of course my cold tolerance is laughable because you guys that are in cold parts of the world probably think, Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. she's just spoiled. And maybe so, but we're used to, you know, summers that s stay around a hundred. Yeah. We got, we got, we got a very mild winter, but, and then like I said, this was a record low for us for October and it got to, I don't think, I don't think it got to 32. I don't, I don't think so either. I think it was like 34. I think I got about 34, maybe 33 one day and 34 the next or vice versa. But it didn't it didn't get to freezing, freezing. Now, we'd have a little bit of frost. What was crazy is we had a little bit of frost over here. But I went to the garden. My garden didn't have any frost on it, which was really. And that was know. my next discussion was while we were worried about our birds. Yeah. I mean, that's something that, you know, that. It, you can't replace right. plants you can replace. And the next step was to go out to the garden and I just, I just hung my head. I did not expect it to do as well as what it did. It did fine. I mean, it is a winter garden. And if the garden would have been, Carla, you can't make your mind up, can you? But if it would have been like, if the, if the plants would have been established, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have phased me. I, yeah, I wouldn't have been worried. Tender young we plants. just had planted them about a week ago. And I was just a little worried about them, but um, they made it through. And y'all, that garden, it is looking awesome. And yesterday, I fertilized it with um, fish emulsion. And you, you know how great fish emulsion smells. Well, I got to thinking, and I'm, I may be on to something. I don't know. I'm going to bring it up to Jason and Tracy. Okay. Jason at uh, Petal from the Past, and then Tracy from Just Dig It Farm, who... Oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, baby. Who are garden experts. And anyways, if you, 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 there's a chance. I don't know what my predator, my uh, pest pressure is here. I don't know if I'm going to have deer. I, I just don't know. Um, so there's a way that you can deter deer. And Jason sells an organic fertilizer. It pedals from the past. And it... It's made from, you know what, and and I and human feces. It's it's. Uh, I don't know the details of it. Jason, that garden is too close to the Listen road for you to, to be me. peeing you, and you, pooping you out not, there. You're not understanding. Not listening to me. Okay. So that that fertilizer he has will deter deer, and I can't. I don't know the name of it. But all I know is, is it, it does not smell good. As a matter of fact, Tracy told me, because I was worried about my fruit orchard, and she told me that you would keep the deer away from my fruit orchard, but we better not have a party or some people over if we, if we put it out. Or 
we could have some people that we don't want. <laughs> that would be a good yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> but I was doing the fish emulsion. And fish emulsion, if y'all have ever used fish emulsion fertilizer, it does not smell good. It smells just like you think it would smell. It smells like fish. I mean, mm -hmm. it does. It's got a very fishy. And I thought to myself, you know what? That may do the same thing. It's not as strong as that other. And fish emulsion is really good, and it's easy to find. You can find good organic fish emulsion just about anywhere. And I can run it through my drip irrigation system with my injection uh, flow. Do you think thing. deer would not frequent I, something that I'm, smelled bad to Oh, them? yeah, they won't. Really? Yeah. So I'm thinking that. I'm thinking you shouldn't have said that in this live. You should have patented that idea first. <laughs> I want to see if it, I, I don't have any. I don't. I haven't had any deer yet, but I'm going to bring it up to Dr Jason the Tracy, Tracy about the fish emulsion. If that could be an alternative to the other smelling one that he that he had too, and uh, I think it may work. I really do. They don't like. You can do the Irish Spring soap. That does work. But the only thing about that is, it don't last long. Yeah. It really don't. You'll be buying soap for a lot of soap. It depends on how big your garden is. Right. But um. I'm thinking that the fish emulsion could keep the deer away. Hmm. Well, you might I'm be thinking. onto something. I'm, I'm, I, I'm could thinking you it may smell work. it when you were distributing it. Oh yeah, you can smell it. it but it's not like yeah, it's not. It feels, it smells like you're living close to the beach almost. Like where I say the beach, like you're living close to where they uh fish they harvest. fish a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. So, anyways, I, I did put fish emulsion on it and the micro booster on it yesterday, but uh, it looks awesome, y'all. That garden is looking awesome. It really, really is. Um, I I'm, thought I'm you so were... proud of it. I'm proud of it. And I tell you, I'm getting my exercise in. I think I said that in the last one. Going through them rows, I'm getting my exercise in. I think the other the other day, I'm running my horse Willie Plow through the middle now, and you know maybe I ought to come up with an exercise uh, video. I'll show you how I can exercise. You, you know what I despised in school? PE. Well, I love PE, <laughs> but I hated when we had to go through those six weeks or nine weeks of aerobics. Oh, gosh. Because I could not follow the teacher. I could not do it. It's hard, ain't it? That's kind of like taking dance. Well, it's a good very thing similar. I didn't take dance then. Very, very similar. Because I always looked at the person next to me and the, the teacher would be like, come on, bro, come on. <laughs> and I'd be like. Did you have your sock warmers on? That's when I think aerobics, the sock warmers. This was school. Like flash dance. This was school. Okay. Regular, Regular grade school. school. The, is aerobics still in, is that still something people well, do Well, you know, they do all this, this got CrossFit. Zumba, and, and CrossFit, but I think aerobics is probably a. I bet you don't see that much. Anymore. Water aerobics. Is that right? Well, I, I just know that they, you know, do different things now since technology. Gidget. Has... Gidget. Um, maybe we ought to bring back aerobics. Maybe I ought to bring back aerobics here on do some aerobics videos. Right? I'll be the music person. So the uh, <laughs> other I day, I can't follow it. This is no lie. The other day, I've been splitting it in halves because it's a lot to run that whole swimming pool through there. Because I got yoga. I think it's eight yoga. Yoga. That's what people are doing now. Eight rows, and I gotta go three times, and they're a hundred foot long at least. And I do a lot of walking. I walk a lot. You know, the goal is ten thousand steps. That's what it seems like. That's the average goal, and I'll meet that almost every day, easy. But that day, that first day, I Willie plowed. Did, did my normal walking around the farm that morning, and Willie plowed that garden at lunchtime. I had over twelve thousand steps. You thought you were at Disney World. I didn't was you? like, yeah, I did think I was at Disney World. I was good gracious. And so maybe I ought to start working that wheelie plow. Well, we got two of them. But you know that somebody sent a message, and I feel bad now because I did read it and I didn't respond, but something caught my attention. What's it? They wanted to know if a female could use the wheelie plow. Yeah, we got videos of you using it. And they make uh, Mary Cross got one. The, uh, no, we never did. Cause yes, it came. The junior handles. Mm -mm. Where are the handles at? At the barn. Oh. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, they do make junior handles for it, which is a shorter Because me and Carl wanted plow. to be able to do it. Yep. And I could use that one. And then that was early 
when right right when the big the big C hit the big that bad stuff the bad stuff hit and everything got out of whack out of whack and out of stock and so we didn't get handles for a while we got them though I you know sure? we did I know we did I I'll go put my remember. hands on as okay. soon as we finish well it's too cold outside right now so yeah. I'll do it in the morning okay <laughs> too cold right now. <laughs> <laughs> Was it 50 degrees outside? Mm, it's only it? supposed I mean, to be look, 47 for the I'll look, low. I'll tell you what the low is right now. I'll tell you what, exactly what it is. It's going to be 47 tonight. Is that right? Yes. But I don't know what it is right now. That's still kind of cool. Isn't it? it is. But tomorrow night. It's, it is 58 degrees. Look at right that. Now. Look at that. That's what it, it's coming Tuesday. Storms. Rain. Mm, yeah, I guess. I haven't looked. Um, oh, goodness. There's crazy. No, 30%. That's not very much no. possibility of rain. But mm -hmm. we have um, we have had very little rain. But the rain that we did get, everything held up well. Everything yeah. did Everything's, wonderful. Everything the garden well. looked wonderful. Mm -hmm. So let it rain. Let it rain. We're good. Okay, so the next thing that we did yeah. was the tiny we house. moved the tiny. Well, we didn't. We didn't move it. The gentleman that bought the tiny house had the tiny house moved. And let me tell you all about this tiny house. You tell. So I said it in the video. My go-to place to sell things is just automatically Facebook. Yeah. Because it's a platform that we're on. I'm familiar with it. So I listed the tiny house for sale on Facebook. Well, I had a lot of inquiries. I showed it to one lady. And I thought, man, maybe I ought to list this tiny house on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. So I did. And y'all, the day after I listed it on Craigslist, somebody called me. And usually unknown numbers, I don't answer them. I knew I had not put my phone number on the Facebook marketplace, but I did on um, Craigslist and I encrypted it, you know, so, yeah. so nobody See, get none of them robo calls. But from Jamaica. Yeah. I had won $10 million. Mm -hmm. So this, my phone rang and I was, of all things, driving the tractor. <laughs> so I continued driving the tractor. I didn't even cut it off. And I said, hello, because I just knew it was a scam. Yeah. And he said, yes, ma'am, I'm calling about the tiny house you have for sale. I said, yes, sir. He said, do you still have it? And I said, yes, sir. He said, I'd like to come look at it. And I said, okay. I said, well, my daughter has company coming over. And she did. Mm -hmm. Mary Carl had Caroline, her friend from North Alabama, um, coming over that afternoon. I said, but I'll be glad to show it to you the next day. So he came and looked at it and immediately said, I want it. And I dealt with the gentleman all by myself. This was none of Jason's concern. It was mama's house. So I felt, you know, the need to take over and take care of it. He looked at it. He said, I want it. I said, okay, perfect. So we start thinking about, how are we going to get this thing moved? Yeah. Well, I knew how it got there, and mm -hmm. I had the contact for the, the people that moved it to the farm. So I made several phone calls, and the gentleman that moved it here answered the phone and said he had a doctor's appointment that afternoon um, for me to call him back about 2 o'clock when he got back. I said, okay. So I bet you every bit of 50 times in the next couple of days I called. Well, he may be like me. He don't answer the phone if it's an unknown number. But, you know, he's in business. Yeah, that's right. So I kind of felt, and he didn't know who I was. He mm -hmm. didn't know he had moved the house before. That's right. It's not like there was any bad blood there or anything. Right. So uh, finally I said, this ain't going real good. And I put up a listing on Facebook Marketplace in search of somebody to move a Cotton State barn. Right. Because that's what it initially, you know, who was built by. And lo and behold, a couple of people commented and they listed this guy's name. And so I reached out to him, even though I was the seller, I wasn't responsible for moving the house. I still wanted to help the guy. Right. So I reached out to the, the guy when he told me to um, message him and he told me the price. So I went back to the buyer and he said, well, OK, he said, that's half the price of my guy. So. His guy was literally twenty eight hundred dollars mm -hmm. to move the tiny house eleven miles. Crazy, ain't it? In the same county, eleven miles. Mm -hmm. Now that might sound like twenty eight hundred dollars sounds like a lot of money, but I wouldn't move it 
for sixty eight hundred dollars. Is this? It's too risky. Yeah. So go ahead. So he told me that his guy was twenty eight hundred dollars, and I said, "Well, I got somebody that's half of that." And he said, well, who is it? So I gave him his information and I said, you know, you call him if you're interested in this guy moving it. So from that point forward, the buyer took over and he contacted the mover that I had found. And the mover came and took a look at it and said, yeah, I can do it for half that on Monday. Yeah. So what, four or five days later, Yep. the guy came in and what they loaded it up with was five times more sturdy, I guess you would say. Was that the answer? No, you know what? We were wrong on that. Why? Because I went back and found footage of them moving it, and it was very similar setup. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I don't know why we don't remember that. For some reason, in my mind, I thought that thing was on a flatbed, but it wasn't. It was a flatbed pulling the trailer. Huh? No, it wasn't. It wasn't a flatbed. It was a mini 18 wheeler. Okay. Or I say 18. Well, we call them all 18. Like a little Mack truck pulling a trailer. Huh. Sure well, was. But I'm going to tell y'all, I was nervous as a cat with them moving this, picking this thing up. It would, it worried me to, um, it, I was ooh. okay until it started doing a little creaking. I wouldn't. I, I would, stuff like that makes me nervous anyways. Big stuff like that. I just makes me, because one little thing and, the whole thing comes crashing. That's you know, I've seen too many videos. There but. was one instance when the guy that was the buyer was trying to get the blocks out from under it and he was trying to help. Mm -hmm. So he the winch was hooked up to the tiny house mm -hmm. and the buyer didn't realize that it was fixing to be going and he pulled it and the guy that was with him said, Get out of the way. Yeah. The blocks went tumbling. And I mean, everything, everybody was okay, but that part scared me. It was crazy. That part scared me. It was a little creaking and a little rumbling going on. I'm glad it wasn't, I wasn't a buyer. I tell you, it, it scared me but when they were pulling it, backing it in. And then it just, the trailer just goes up under it. It just goes like Literally, this. Literally, it's like a conveyor it belt. It pushes the blocks off and everything. It goes like this. And it pushed, and it kind of got stuck, and it pushed the whole house, and the whole house said, boom. And, and it didn't, it, that's not the way they loaded it when they brought it here. <laughs> no, uh -uh. he, he. He literally picked it up with his little moving machine. He put the wheels on it and that forklift on the back and moved it around and took it to the trailer, and the trailer pulled it up on there. They didn't do that. They backed the trailer up under this thing. And then you can see it in the video one part where it drops down, and I just, I think I. No, I didn't put music to it either. But I can tell you, it, I was my heart was pounding a hundred miles what, an this, hour when they moved it from here. Yes, and then and then it kept pushing, and then the house shifted this way. Now that's what scared me. And I was like, man, this thing's fixing to fall over. And I looked at you, and we were just like, whoo! But then they just pulled it through. They did. Got it and was gone. And and, and it kept, was fast. It was way faster than the first time we had it moved. I kept looking at the at the guys that were moving it because oh, I, was, I was trying to see their, you know, language to see yeah. if, if they were like in any way worried about what was going on. None. And nobody was batting an eye. They and weren't nervous at here, all. Me and Jason were over there shaking. You, shaking I was eye. looking for a paper sack because I was fixing to hyperventilate. It was worrying me to dig and it wasn't even my house anymore. This guy, he done paid for it. He done paid for it. Cut all the electrical, cut all the plumbing. I mean, it was his, and Ooh. we were the worried ones. We were the worried ones. It well, still, my still makes me nervous thinking about it. I tell you, what made me nervous was when the driver of that truck said, now, let's hope we can get out of this gate. <laughs> That's when I thought, this ain't good if he's worried about oh, getting out of the gate. Man. So I'm filming yeah. with my phone just because I, I just wanted to just i didn't want to watch it right i wanted to watch it in my phone not in, <laughs> not with my eyes and boy when he got out of that gate i felt like i felt like my day was done and it was 10 o'clock in the morning it was it was it was rough i was sweating <laughs> i'm telling you i was sweating Woo, but I, it was i, I was, was so happy that it was relief and then i was worried for the gentleman that bought it 
because the the driver said to where they had to go take this tiny house was down this huge hill and wasn't quite for sure how they were going to get down the hill, let alone turn around and get out. I was like, oh my gosh. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness. Here we were yeah. worried about them getting out with it. And now this guy's got to poop in his pants again to get the house to his place. Oh my gracious. I mean, bad mm. news. Yeah. <sighs> Whew. I'm glad. I'm just saying, I'm glad it wasn't me on this. Whew. It was, it was, it was nerve wracking. It was nerve wracking. We had a celebratory time seeing the house go out. Yeah, it was. It was nice to see it go out. Cause I just, I didn't have in my mind, you know, I really didn't realize how much had to be lined up. I mean, I knew it, but I always am willing to help somebody. I think that's, that's right. I think I put too much into my hand is what it amounted to is I wasn't responsible for moving the house. But I made a lot of phone calls and got a lot of people to talk to to find somebody that could move it because he wanted it moved in a certain time frame. Yep. And he did send us a picture or oh. sent you a picture yes. about a couple hours later, I guess. And it was set up and everything, and they were able to get it down to where it was and, and all that kind of good. Just but heavy stuff like that. Even, I guess the only time I'm not nervous is when Mr. Greg is running. I'm not nervous for Mr. Greg. He, Mr. Greg could be flying a 747 and land it in our front pasture, and I wouldn't be nervous. I want you to get that way about me because there's times when, when I go to get a <laughs> scoop of rocks. I just don't want nothing to happen to and, you. And when I go to get a scoop of rocks, yeah. my tractor goes up sideways like mm -hmm. this, and it's on two wheels, and I'm not worried about it because I know if I let that bucket down, it's going to go right back down. But Jason's over here going, sit down. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> and I'm like, just chill out a bit. I got this. Just sit down. Sit it down. Yeah. I want him to be like, Brooks, Brooks, just as good as Mr. Greg. I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> and it's going to happen. Oh, one day, you reckon? One day, you're going to feel comfortable with me up on two wheels. With yeah. Rocks in the bucket. <laughs> That's funny. Am I right? That's right. Okay. So, this day's almost over. It is almost over. Although a lot of y'all could be doing lots of other things, but you're sitting here watching these crazy cogs. We are, and we appreciate you guys so much. Now, you're on here on the video watching this. There's an opportunity Saturday. That's right. To see us in person. <laughs> and that is at Milton, Florida, at the Gulf Coast Homesteaders Meetup. All I, the information is on our website. Or I can tell you more about it right here. Okay. It is at the Santa Rosa County Fair. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the fairgrounds. It's in Milton, Florida. That's North Florida. It's near Pensacola. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe you have to buy tickets in advance. They don't, they're not selling tickets? I don't believe they're selling tickets, but if you go to the webpage. Go to our website and go under events, and that's coghillform.com. There's an event thing right there, and it shows you what all we got going on. And um, it'll take you to there, or you can go to the, what's it called, Gulf Coast Meetup on Facebook, and it'll show up there too. Gulf Coast Homesteaders Meetup. I don't know about that's that. That's it. Do you think? Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. 2022 Gulf Coast Homesteaders Meetup. And on all Facebook. the information's there too. And it starts on Friday at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's a two day event. It's a two day event. We won't be there except for Saturday. Saturday. And our speaking opportunity is at four o'clock. Is it four? I think it's four. Think it's the it's last four. one of yeah. the day. But, um, there will be lots of other speakers there. Lots of speakers there. Lots of things to do there. There's There are events. Some of them are sold out. But yeah. there are classes that you can take uh, to learn how to, you know, do different things. And it's a it's going to be interesting. Yeah. We went last year. We, we had did. a great time. We had a great time last year. So we are thankful that they asked us to come back and, and be a speaker at this mm -hmm. event. We will be speaking. We will be speaking and... Meet and, and greet. We will be meeting everybody that comes over there to see us and 
So if you're in, if you're in that area or uh, want to come see us and uh, want to go see beautiful Pensacola, Florida and Milton, Florida, y'all come on. That's right. We'll be there. Yep. We'll be there late Saturday. Well, we'll be there all day Saturday, but we'll be speaking late Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And um, there'll be lots of things to do on both Friday and Saturday. That's and right. Jacqueline and Zach over at Head Family Farm just put the link up. So Oh, they did put it up. Here's the link. Okay. The Facebook page. Okay. You see it? I did for a second there. It's I don't right know there. if that oh I don't know if people I don't know if that'll help you guys or not, but there it is. Um and we uh there will be several uh big speakers there. Uh we'll be the last one for, uh Saturday evening. Uh my boy Daniel, our family. He, him, and DJ, they'll be there, and they're going to be the main speaker, the last speaker Friday. That's right. And I haven't had the chance to personally meet uh, DJ. So yeah, that'll that's be, right. That'll be um, a, a first for both of us. Yep. And I've met Daniel, I've met Houston, mm -hmm. but not DJ. So it'll be a. And we'll be driving. It's like a three hour drive for us. Yeah. So we'll have yeah. a long day, but yep. um, we're going to make it work and make it happen. Yep. So I think that. Um, Maybe, maybe, maybe if you don't want to do a video about your party garden, we could do a live one day this week about the party garden. We can do that. Would that be best, do you think? We'll figure it out. Okay, so y'all stay tuned because we're going to try to announce our lives ahead of time. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why mm -hmm. are you grinning? Nothing. I'm just reading Reading in, just reading the comments. People are so nice. They are. Mm -hmm. We are so fortunate. I can't say enough about just our, I don't want to call you fans because that's short for fanatic, but our followers are the best in the, the whole squad. wide world. They are. The Cog Squad, we just, um, we just can't say enough that's good right. things about every one of you that could be anywhere else and you're watching these two fools. That's right. So, <laughs> we got Arlo here. He's, Arlo asleep. said he's got to call it a night. He's, he is he dead asleep. Ain't he, he is tired and his daddy's got to edit a video. So, <laughs> we, so go ahead. Well, I was going to say, if we don't see y'all Saturday, yes, um, we'll catch y'all on the next live. That's right. We'll try to let y'all know That's when right. it's going to happen because next weekend's going to be crazy. So it is going to be crazy. We may have a little mixed up. We schedule. may have several lives because we may be able to get a video out. That's right. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> y'all be good.